Hey everybody, welcome. It's Andrew Ames with Golf Academy. As always, a very warm welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe, subscribe button down there and give it a click and then you'll uh, be bang up to date with all my latest videos. So as usual, a little bit late to the party on the joining a review. This is the G410 LS Tech driver. LS Tech standing for low spin technology. The G410 main range, the plus and the SF tech straight flight technology came out some time ago. And it's been interesting. Uh, there's been a little bit of criticism uh, aimed at Ping on this one. Um, and I think I should kind of fight Ping's corner on this and bring you up to date on really what's happened. Certainly I knew from my rep, he didn't actually say to me that the LS tech is coming, but he inferred fairly confidently that there was more product to come. Now, the reason that that ping didn't launch LS Tech at the time of the new G410 is it, it basically wasn't ready to launch. They hadn't quite got it where they wanted it. They were still fiddling around with a few ideas. So um, it wasn't ready. So they didn't launch it, which is fair enough. Now, anyone who um, knows anything about ping, you know, you go back to the G range and the, the G400. We knew that an LS Tech version would come. Um, so, you know, it was not a shock that when it didn't get launched um, initially, we thought, well, LS Tech's coming. And certainly anyone who was coming in for a fitting in my academy said to me, is there an LS Tech version coming? I would say most definitely. I don't know when, but it won't be far away. So if they were the type of golfer, and generalizingly speaking, the LS Tech tends to work with very high club speed. So people who are I don't know, let's say swinging a driver at 105, 110, 115, uh, launching it high, uh, getting this high backspin rate, you know, say they're spinning it up at 3000 and you've tried lofting down, you've tried different shafts and you still can't get the spin rate down. That's where the LS Tech version really kicks in. So I said to golf, there was a couple of guys who I teach really good players who are interested in the LS Tech. I said, look, just, just hold fire if you can. I'm sure it'll be here soon. And, and here it is. So I think the criticisms that some YouTubers, no names mentioned, um, have given ping on this are fairly unfounded. That's my take on it. And uh, people will agree or disagree with me on that one. And that's fine because that's what it's all about. Anyway, let's tell you a little bit about the G410 OS Tech straight off the ping website here. It's a high MOI, MOI standing for moment of inertia. Um, resistance to twisting is probably a good way to think of um, MOI. Engineered to, to produce low stable spin with shot shaping control provided by the G410 drivers family. In innovative, not easy for me to say this early in the morning, movable weight technology. Compact multi-material, 450cc head. Again, all of this we're saying about the G410 range across the board, fast forge, T9S, improved aerodynamics, MOI 3% higher than the G400 LS Tech. Go back to that in a minute. Trajectory tuning, eight settings. One of the big differences between G410 and G400 was in G400, we could move loft up and down 0.6 of a degree and one degree. In G410, we can move lofts a full degree, one degree and 1.5, and we've also got some flat settings as well. So uh, eight different settings in this. I just want to scroll down onto another graphic just to show you. Um, so this low spin design is a movable high density tungsten back weight. So it shifts the CG, center of gravity location, in each direction from neutral to influence right or left shot direction. The CG position is slightly forward, okay, of the G410 Plus and the SF Tech models uh, in all three positions, draw, neutral, and fade, leading to spin reduction. Approximately 200 to 400 RPM dependent on the shaft and the golfer's launch conditions. So CG, center of gravity, is moving forward. The, the more you move center of gravity or weight back in a driver, the higher it tends to launch is the general idea. And the more you move the weight forward, the lower it launch. That's the basics of it. There's probably a bit more to it than that, but that's how I see it. Um, loads of other stuff I could tell you about, but you know all about it. It's basically the weights in the back here you can put to draw and fade and neutral. 
there we go. That's basically in a nutshell. Leaves me just to go ahead, set this driver up and hit it. So I'm just going to uh, get this set up for you. Get GC2 running, hit a few shots and see how we go. Okay, everybody, let me tell you how I've set this one up. Um, G410 LS Tech set 10 and a half degrees with the Project X Evenflow 6.0 in stiff. So pretty standard set, lots of different shaft options um, in the drivers these days. We've got the standard, I'm just reading off the wall here if you know what I'm looking at. We've got the Alta CB Reds, we've got Tour 65 and 75, and the aftermarket shafts, which are no upcharge uh, here in the UK. Uh, we've got Tensai CK Orange, I'll put some graphics up down below, um, and an even flow black. This is apparently a low trajectory of a smooth feel. Well, depends who's hitting it really to give you the smooth feel, doesn't it? Anyway, um, let's have a hit with it, shall we? Got GC2 running. I've got some Mizuno balls on the deck. Let's see if we can launch one. Not a bad strike. Might pick up that bunker. Probably will do. Let's try to stay behind that one and sort of launch it high. I'm trying to look for this high launch, low spin combination. Um, so yeah, just popped into that bunker, I think, but let's just have an early look. See, that's interesting. Now remember, backspin and launch angle comes very much down to strike location. Am I hitting it in the heel, out the toe, high in the face? That was a 14 degree launch. I was purposely trying to really hit up into that. So I did get a good launch on it. Got a peak height of 36 yards, which is high for me, and a 251 carry. But backspin, quite high, 2,800. Now, um, I'm gonna go again. That, for me, is not low spin. I'm not sure that's anything to do with the driver. I think it's probably the more the way I hit it, and I'm not even sure I've got the right combination of shaft and loft in here yet, but it was fine. That's a better, <laughs> another golf ball appeared out the screen there. That was interesting, not sure where that one came from. That was a better strike, much better. Let's get the numbers out on that one. So we'll dig into this a little bit deeper. Again, I'm just glanced the spin there, still quite high. Launch for me there, perfect, 12 degree launch angle. Ball speed climbing up towards the uh, 150 mark, giving me a carry distance of 256, which is getting up towards my sort of limit really, but backspin right there at 26, 27 nearly. So with this combination, not particularly um, low spinning. Now, I'm going to pause the tape and I'm going to play around with the shafts here and the lofts and see if we can change the numbers. So a good start, but not quite what I'd be after if I was fitting myself for a low spin setup. I'll be back. I'm back. So let me tell you what I've done. I cranked the loft down one degree, taking it from 10 and a half to nine and a half. And I've put in um, a Tour 65 in stiff, which is a shaft I've used before, which I really like. Um, Let's see if this one moves the numbers, shall we? Change the tracer here to yellow so uh, we can differentiate between the two. Oh, that was one of those necky ones again. That's right out the neck, that is. It's going to do quite well, but it was ugly. Great result from an ugly swing. <laughs> you won't see the strike location on that, but that was very low heel. Should we have a look at it? I'm certainly lowered the ball flight. Um, I'll bring it up for you just so you can see. Club speed down a little bit. Two, three, six carry, but again, strike location there. Poor strike location. Seven degree launch um, with nearly 3,000 revs of spin. So still looking for that, that strike. Here we go. Oh, that's interesting. Now that's got that sort of, <laughs> that's got that like nose diving flight on it. That will be very low spin. So here we start to see the launch is right down at 8.2, which is way too low really, isn't it? 8.2 launch, but the spin rate there dropped down to just under 1500, gave me 242 carry. Ball speed was up to like 151, 152. 
and huge run outs. It's one of those like knuckle balls where, you know, it's like nose diving and going forward. That was interesting. Again, I still don't think I've quite got this driver set perfectly for me yet, but we're starting to see some signs of how we're getting that launch down. Let's go one more. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so definite change in launch conditions here. Um, I think I'm nearly there. Let me just bring the numbers up. Really hard this when you're trying to <laughs> produce similar sorts of swings because you know the swing's going to vary. Still, I've got the launch. 8.2 launch would indicate that I've probably got too little loft on the driver. I think if I was going again on this fitting, and I don't, you bore you to death if I keep going on this, I'd put the loft back up to closer to 10 and a half. I'd stick with this shaft, but I'm definitely starting to see some launch conditions here, which are good. I'm now getting 255 carry from an eight degree launch. If I could get that launch up to 10 or 11, I reckon I could push that carry distance up another 10 yards, maybe 15. Um, but you can start to see what this driver is giving me. Um, to just over 2,000, 2,100 revs of spin. Really interesting. It's always good fun trying to do a little bit of a fitting on yourself. Um, my preference would probably be the tour shaft in an X in maybe 65 or 75 set to 10 and a half. That's where I've worked it on a G400 before and that worked really well. Anyway, back to the club in question, the G410 LS Tech. It's a niche driver. It's only gonna suit a certain type of golfer, generally a golfer who, you know, just creates too much backspin, which normally comes from club speed. So higher club speed, you'll see a lot of tour players putting this in the bag. It's not a driver which I'll sell loads of, so that's why it didn't worry me that ping didn't launch it from day one because I didn't really miss it that much. But it's now an addition to the range. If you had G400 LS Tech and you were thinking about moving on to the, uh, the G410 LS Tech and you came in for my honest opinion, I'd certainly get you to hit both. I'd put this up against the G400. If we saw a, ch a near, you know, good change in the numbers, um, by all means go and buy one. My gut feeling is that there's not a huge amount of difference in performance between G400 and G410. Probably a little bit in favor of this, but it's not massive. Um, but Ping, I think, would say that themselves. They're not looking, you know, what else can they do to drivers to, to make them improve? So there we go. Thanks for watching your review. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down the bottom. Uh, post your comments if you've, any of you tried the G410 LS Tech or thinking of trying it. Um, give the video a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. It's good to have conversations. And I'll be back soon. Bye for now.